calves again today once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel, Go Beyond. We're currently at T plus 3 minutes and 20 seconds into today's mission. Now the next major milestone coming up in about two and a half minutes from now will be the entry burn of the Falcon 9 booster as it continues on its journey towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Now to start the entry burn, we will relight three of the M1D engines on the booster, which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down the vehicle to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but it's still moving really fast. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface. That soot then becomes, that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, which with each flight, the soot builds up a little more on the outside of the vehicle. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical space infrastructure. The Falcon 9's first stage that is supporting today's mission is performing this entry burn for the 20, 24th time today. The payloads fairings supporting today's missions were also flight proven. Again, first one flying for its 12th time and the other for its second. Now we should be hearing that call out for the Falcon 9 first stage entry burn in just under a minute from now. And as a reminder, keep an eye out for the telemetry of the vehicle at the bottom left hand corner of your screen, showing both the speed and altitude of the rocket. We should be hearing that call out for the Falcon 9 first stage entry burn in just a few moments from now. Stage 1 entry burn startup. And great call out there for entry burn startup. This burn is set to last about 20 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. Entry burn shutdown. Another good call out there for entry burn shutdown. Coming up next will be the first stage landing burn, which will start about a minute from now. The Merlin engines on the Falcon 9 first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. At stage one FTS has saved. Good call out there. At liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage has thrust greater than five 747 airplanes at full power. Now the 10th engine on our rocket stack, the MVAC engine, located on the second stage, possesses a much wider nozzle and is optimized to 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Coming up in about 30 seconds, we should hear that call out for the landing burn of the Falcon 9 first stage. This landing burn is the stage final... Stage 1 transonic. Another good call out there. The landing burn is the... Stage 2 FTS has saved. And another good call out. The landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster used to reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle for a gentle and precise landing on our drone ship. Stage 2 is in terminal guidance. Stage 1 landing burn. Good call out for landing burn start. We are now waiting for Falcon 9 to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Landing leg deploy.
Stage one landing confirmed. And there you heard a call out for a successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket. This was the 24th launch and landing of the first stage. Now, as a reminder, we will not be showing any stage two or deployment views at the request of our customer today. So with that landing of the Falcon 9 booster, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. We'd like to thank the NRO for entrusting us with today's mission, and we'd also like to thank the range and FAA for their support. If you're interested in more launch coverage, be sure to check out SpaceX.com slash launches and follow at SpaceX. And follow SpaceX on X for more up-to-date information. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.偷偷告诉大家，我最近发现了新法宝 Royal Face 逆时奇迹系列，它有活肤露、全效精华，还有精华霜。尤其我皮肤比较偏干，所以我非常的注重保湿。保湿做得好，肌肤自然通润。提亮肤色，更年轻。抚平皱纹，超有感，而且气色变好。用心保养，每天都更美一点。美吧。